Hey everybody, it's me, Gregor Manorino. How are you today? It is Thursday, August 10th, 2017. It's one of these days where you just, I don't, I don't know where to begin. It just keeps piling on. Let's start off with this. How many of you out here have been hearing me talk about how the Federal Reserve it's really stuck and they keep missing their inflation targets over and over again. Well today, today people, yet again, um, we, we find out that the producer price index fell despite the fact that we were supposed to get a tick higher. Keep this in mind, the Federal Reserve has been melting the dollar, deliberately forcing the purchasing power of the dollar lower uh, it w what seems like for a year um, it has it's not going to stop you have to understand that and I want to talk more about that going forward here the Federal Reserve um, again if you follow this blog you know that they have created a financial Frankenstein unlike anything that we've ever seen before the Federal Reserve has been talking about normalizing their balance sheet if they're talking about normalizing their balance sheet that obviously means that their balance sheet is abnormal you got it they can't say that but that's obviously you know what it means this is not my words this is this is their words normalizing their balance sheet now they've been talking about this for months I've been out here since they started talking about it saying it's not going to happen look it, it's just it's incredible. The Federal Reserve cannot create inflation because our economy, despite the fact that you and me are being fist fed by Washington and the mainstream media that we are on some type, in some type of economic recovery, we're not in any kind of a recovery. Everything has just been inflated and distorted and pulled in every direction but the right one by world central banks, none more so than the Federal Reserve that has had to create a grossly abnormal balance sheet to keep everything propped up and that's exactly what they're going to do now I expect one more rate hike from the Fed this year 25 basis points towards the end of the year that's it they're done forget about the Federal Reserve normalizing their abnormal balance sheet it's not going to happen this year in light of recent events again the Fed cannot create inflation because our economy is dead in the water money velocity remains near historic lows you cannot have a recovery without cash moving through our economy okay it's the most simple concept in the history of the world but meanwhile the mainstream financial channels the media will not tell you these things they can't allow you to know the truth here so the Fed is absolutely stuck big time you might be wondering why I drew this little face here I don't know why I drew this little face here it's kind of funny um, when I was in high school there was uh, a girl who used to draw these little faces her name was Chrissy I wonder if you're out here watching this Chrissy because I still remember you I used to draw these faces on my arms and all kinds of stuff like that I, I'll, I'll never forget that and I just happened to like it so I just drew it behind me there's no there's no rhyme or reason to it <laughs> maybe I'm losing my mind a little bit here all right, so let's let's move forward uh, and talk about what's going on here in this market. Geopolitical events are causing gyrations in this market, which are unforeseeable. There's no way to predict that this was going to happen. That Donald Trump, President Trump, was going to come out uh, with what he said. I don't think he's going to be able to do anything uh, honestly. Um, so, but the market is is kind of torn on this. So you got a few things going on here. The stock market is under pressure since that statement. It's kind of it's unbelievable the the way one statement can change everything. If you recall uh, the day Donald Trump made that statement talking about fire and fury, this market was ripping higher again on its way to its tenth record close with regard to the Dow Jones Industrial Average. All of a sudden, President Trump makes the fire and fury comment. Bam. Stocks go down. Uh, the dollar went down. Metals went higher. 
you, you know how important it is to become your own central bank here, and this is something I do at every moment I possibly can, acquiring more and more precious metals, more specifically silver. You know that if you follow this blog. So until this market figures out what it wants to do, I, I, as traders like myself, you need to sit back on the sidelines here this, and just let this ride out. Knowing when to get out of this market is is probably more important than knowing when to get into this market. And you're never going to be right. You know that market can turn on a dime. That's a fact. Um, so me personally, as a trader, I pulled out of this market. Right now, I am sitting back. I'm still going to be acquiring more precious metals. There's no doubt about it. This is what I do every single every month. I allocate funds towards precious metals, and I've been doing this. I can't even remember since how long, since silver was probably $8 an ounce. So that's a long time, and I will continue to do it, no doubt about it. So um, let, let's, let's kind of try to summarize here what's going on. Um, the, Fed is, the Fed is in so much trouble here. Um, one rate hike may be coming this year. Actually, I think they are going to raise rates one more time this year, 25 basis points regarding the federal funds rate. Balance sheet will remain untouched. They're not going to do anything with their balance sheet here because our economy in reality is dead in the water. They know this here. They cannot create inflation. They're going to try by printing more cash out of thin air, adding it to a digital screen. At one particular point, honestly, this is what I believe is going to happen. They're going to overshoot their inflation targets. They're going to have no choice but to raise rates. At that point, they're even in more trouble here because the only thing that's keeping us where we are right now is the fact that they have been manipulating the debt market unlike anything we've ever seen in the history of the world. And I'm not just making that up. Stock market here, all over the place. Gyrations with regard to the stock, with regard to the dollar, with regard to precious metals. Don't get fancy here, people. If you're a trader and you're watching this, you can try to weave in and out of this. Uh, I, I, that, that would make you more of a day trader. I cannot day trade. I, I have tried to day trade. I cannot do it. I cannot do it. I am a swing trader. I hold things for days to weeks, so I'm out of here. I want to sit back. I want to ride this out and then get in at a better time. It's that simple. It's Look, you, you can't get emotional in this business here. Uh, you've got to maintain some type of stability. Uh, otherwise, you're going to lose everything. You have to know when to get out of this market. You have to know when to get into this market. You have to know how to play these things. It's so important. I can't stress this enough. All right. With that said, I'm going to let you all go. I hope you found this interesting. Uh, <laughs> I do. because I know that Janet Yellen right now is sweating. and uh, That's a revolting thought. Just to picture that in my mind. Let me know what you think about the image of Janet Yellen sweating. <laughs> Over and out.